Hey everybody, welcome back to iSpy Hacks. It's Sarah Ayers, Business Incubation Program Coordinator with Innovate Springfield. And I've got Daniel Gambrell, Associate with Illinois Ventures. And he's back to talk to you about what you need to think about when you're choosing an investor. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen and, and mute myself here. I think Sarah, glad to be back with you. So yeah, today we're talking about, if you decide these based on all the videos we've done, before this, um, if you decided that going the VC route or taking on an investor is the right move for your company, what should you think about when actually getting to choose that investor? Uh, the first thing you need to do is realize and think about it as, like a relationship, almost like a marriage. Um, so in the last video, we talked about fund structure, the life of the funds being 10 years. It may take five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12 years um, from the time that investor puts money into your company until the exit. And over that time, um, if you've gotten a good investor, they're working with you, um, strategizing, helping recruit, different types of things like that. Um, and really that relationship will last the whole time uh, that fund has some ownership stake in your company. So you wanna make sure that investor is somebody uh, that you want to work with for that long of a term, right? So you want whatever, those factors may be whether it's, you know, uh, maybe it's personality, maybe um, it's trust, trustworthiness, maybe it's their track record, you know, different things like that. Whatever is important to you in that type of long-term relationship, uh, you want to nail down and think about as you meet investors, as you talk to them, and as you start potentially getting term sheets and thinking about doing potential deals with certain investors, is that somebody you want to be connected to for a long time? Um, and if the answer is no, then you want to highly consider going with a different investor. After that, once you've decided, hey, this is somebody I think I can work with for a long time, um, you want to look for investors who are doing more than writing you a check. Um, so if you, if you are fit that startup profile of the companies um, VCs are looking for, there's the big potential to have more than one VC interest in you. And so if that's the case, you want to bring out an investor who's doing more than just writing you a check, who's giving you the money and then um, sort of leaving and, and letting you build a company on your own. So how can investors do more than just bring a check? Um, there's a lot of different ways. Um, they can, whether it's through their network, making connections for the company to maybe industry leaders, potential partners, uh, potential customers, uh, maybe uh, they help you recruit talent, especially at the managerial or executive level. Um, maybe they are on your board, helping you strategize. Maybe they're um, connecting you to potential acquirers. Maybe they have some sort of domain expertise or, or experience that they can use to help build the company. You know, different things like that, that the investor uh, brings to the table that will help add value and grow the company outside of just the check. Um, the next thing you want to think about when it comes to picking an investor is can that investor get other investors to join in? Um, maybe they syndicate rounds, um, maybe they're just influential in their network, uh, but typically these days most VCs are not investing on their own. They're investing with other investors and typically because of how long companies are staying private these days, companies are having to raise money from multiple investors over multiple rounds. Uh, so you want an investor who's going to help you raise that next round, um, whether it's through their network, um, their track record, is, or their influence is able to bring other investors on board. Um, and lastly, the other thing you want to think about when choosing an investor is, is what's their track record? Um, are they successful in, in building companies like yours? Uh, do they have any type of, does that firm have any type of sector experience? Um, you know, if, if you're a high tech company or do they have some type of R&D um, capabilities or assistance? Um, do, you know, if you're a software company or something like that, what, what's their history with those types of companies? Um, it's something you'll want to consider as you look at an investor. Uh, now there are new funds. Um, out there and, and right, so you have to think, okay, what about a first time fund manager? Well, then you wanna look at their background. You know, what did they do before they got, got into VC? 
Um, most VCs did something before they got into it. I did sales and marketing, um, both in, in sort of industrial supply and in software. Um, but you want to think, okay, um, this VC, this investor I'm talking to, what did they do before they started investing? Um, you know, a lot of VCs, some, some of them are former founders themselves, product managers at big tech companies. Um, so maybe they were researchers who have some very technical expertise that then came into VC. Uh, so you want to think about what their background is, what their that track record is, and how it helped build your company. Um, but those are four big things you want to think about as you're choosing an investor. But I think the main one is the first one. Is, is really thinking of it as a relationship and deciding if this is somebody uh, who you want to work with for a very long time. And if so, then you can start thinking about uh, these other sort of factors uh, as you think about choosing an investor. Awesome, thank you so much, Daniel. I really feel like I, just in these short hack videos, gained a deeper understanding of the VC process and sort of the backside that I, I did not know some of those sort of nitty gritty details there. So I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody else for, for tuning in and following along with us in our hack video series. Daniel mentioned this, Illinois Ventures only invests in in startups that are associated with the University of Illinois. And that includes Innovate Springfield members. So he also serves as an advisor, an expert advisor to, to the Innovate Springfield members. So if you're interested in pursuing an idea or learning more, you know who to call, all right? So we'll see you guys on in cyberspace. Thanks so much for tuning along with us. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs>